Hello, Keith Walker, deep hack activist. What a week I've had. Last week, as you all know, Laura Laura Peacock, the MP, um, put out a, a tweet asking for claimants' experiences of PIP, which is very important because we know what is going on. She got a massive response. I was one of them that responded. Lo and behold, she says, "Yep, yeah, we want to meet." I used I, I run uh, Deepak's Twitter, so I use a Deepak, and we're well known. We're well known by a lot of MPs in Parliament. Let me tell you, Laura Pickcock, just a quick word about her. She's a human being first, MP second. I, I, she is just great. She is going to be great. Anyway, we set this meeting up. I thought it would be 20 minutes at the most. Over an hour she's talked with us. Took all the details. You had loads of facts for her. Um, yeah, so that went on. Wednesday, we go to the debate. I'm not sure if you've seen what happened. It's on YouTube, look it up. Steve Topple from the Canary, another excellent guy, has put out what happened. You hear us in the background. Me and Paula, I was appalled at what I saw. Appalled. Justin Tom Tomlinson, Tomkinson, whatever his name is, he used to be a disabled minister. Tory, of course. He used to be our disabled minister. I watched him say, Laura sounds like a social worker. The amount of disrespect they were showing... They were not listening. There was about five of them, five or six. There were five DWP staff sitting behind them. On their side, it shows you whose side the DWP are. Not our side. They're not on our side. Don't ever think the DWP. They're, they're on their side. Anyway, we were heard. Me and Paula, I caught, we caught, I caught this Justin and I said, do you think it's acceptable that you're laughing? Do you think that's acceptable? He scurried away. Okay. Sarah Newton, we caught Sarah Newton as well. I caught her. I said, you don't care. You do not care about what's happened. We are dying out. People are dying. Friends of friends of mine and Paulus and of Deepak's. And they are dying. She said she would meet, sit down and meet with us. Okay, I've called her out. I've sent her an email saying, you sit down with Deepak, bring your team, we'll bring our team. You sit down and discuss the facts and figures. She said about access to work, access to work. They help people to work. They've cut that by 50%. Access to work has been cut by 50%. They don't help no one into work. I just, I couldn't believe the amount of disrespect. Anyway, after the debate, I was quite angry. I nearly got arrested. The only reason I did not get arrested, I think, is because Laura actually walked me down into Westminster Hall while the police were there. The minute I stepped outside the door, the police were on me straight away, asking where we're from, what we're doing. Kill them with kindness. I just said, you don't need to know that. But I was polite. Anyway. RT. I've been also on RT this week. My first television thing. It's just been a surreal week. They come great team. Sebastian and JJ. Top geezers, I tell you. They are asking, doing a story about Pip. Paul has done an interview. She went there um, after our debate on Wednesday. They said it was so good that it's an extra 10 minutes. It's, they've got 10 minutes of time, which is quite a long time, really. Because Paula spoke, like she always does, from the heart. Straight from here. Anyway, so I'm going to be on RT this week as well. Um, I just, this week has been surreal. But you know what? It's been really good as well because this has gave me fire. This has made, got me started because we need to keep the pressure now. Monday, Monday. Estimate Vay 230 is in Parliament. It's a public thing. You can go in the public gallery. You know who will be there. Me and Paula. We're, we're going to be there. We're going to be there. And I'm going to stare that woman down. I'm going to stare her down. Because she... You know what she's done to us. You know what she's doing. She just had to resign from Samaritans. And that is because of the pressure she is under. She won't be in a job long. She's not going to stay in that job long. Let me tell you, she's not going to stay in that job long. Tomorrow, NHS March. Get out there. The NHS, as you all know, is really important to everyone. Um, we all need to be out there. I think there'll be thousands, maybe 100,000 people. I'm not sure. But Paula Peters is speaking at this NHS March. An on-the-ground activist. She isn't, we're not affiliated to any political party. People say we're Labour. We're not affiliated to any political party. We're just against the Tories. 
but we're not actually affiliated to any political party. When when Paula speaks, it's from the heart. Just you want to listen. Trust me, you want to listen to her. She's really good. One more thing. Able UK, some disability. They were putting reports out there that we are harassed. They said we broke into Parliament. You can't break into a public building. You are allowed to go into Parliament, into Westminster rather. You're allowed to go in there. We were screened before we got in there. They said we were shout, we were cornered, shouting. They, they said we shouted during the debate. We did not disturb. It was after. It was after the speech. I just want to get this out there. This, this Able UK, need, they really need to sort themselves out because it was wrong reporting. This is, this is what we don't need. I was not harassing anyone. I did not harass anyone. I do not harass anyone. I just want to, I'm passionate, that's all it is. But I will gladly sit down with Sarah Newton and this Justin Tomkinson, by the way, who was playing on his iPad and his phone while Laura was telling us about cancer patients dying. Let me tell you this story. Cancer patient, given two months to live. The DWP had sanctioned him, Had no. he wanted that money for the last two months of his life and they still held it off. It took his MP to get involved so he could get his money for his last days of his life. Can you can you can you believe this? Can you believe it? It is a load of old It's just it makes me angry. Anyway, what a week. Next week might be even more exciting. Estimate Vay, you're next. We're coming for you. Don't you worry. Don't think you're gonna sit there in that job long because you're not. And we will be there Tuesday. And we will be there until this government is gone. We're gonna be there all the time hounding you. We are going to hound you because you need to go. You are killing people. And as long as there's a breath in my body, you will never be left alone. There will be no peace for you. No justice, no peace. Let's all get out there. Support the NHS. Support Deepak. These are the threats. Support them all the time, I say. Support us. We do this for you. Okay, take, take care of each other there. See you later.